Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn how to create a custom form in Magento 2 or an inquiry form in Magento 2. So here I have created the custom form that is inquiry form. So here I am getting the first name. So I am putting here my first name, last name, right, my email, phone number. And here I am adding my message, hello this side, Rajnikan. Right. Um, take, you can take any kind of image uh, for this one. So this, uh, whatever they can interact. You can also use this as a prescription form, right? So somebody like, uh, if it is a pharmacy website, so in that case you can take the prescription that is in upload form or in the PDF, or maybe it's better that you can click an image of the prescription and upload that. So in the admin you will get to notify from which email address or which one that the prescription is so that you can uh, contact him and prescribe him what the medicine they are going to use right so it, it can be used as an inquiry form it can be used as a prescription form or you can use as uh, you can use that uh, you can use as like a custom uh, form you can from the anything that you can manipulate accordingly right for this purpose I have used as an inquiry form I can use it as a, a prescription form so I have just submit this code right this is done let's go to the admin so here I am getting all the details so this is the image everything you can edit this image right so it, this is how we can do the uh, custom form like uh, when uh, so you can use this extension or you can use this module to add it in your website and the, uh, from where you can get uh, re receive inputs from the customer so this gonna be useful in that case right so if you want the source code so that uh, it, write in the comment below and I will explain how I have made this module or I, I have also a trick solution that you can build somehow a custom form or you can also have the Magento module creator. So you can also create from the module generator and just add the custom image so that you can record all the details from the front side front end and save it in the back end and show into the listing. All the facilities like deleting the custom form all the actions like this enable disable everything is there you got filters all this right so this is full fledged uh, th that can save your time also for any kind of custom form that you are going to build and save the information to the database right so this is this is the basic inquiry form if you want to learn, learn how i have built it so write in the comment below i will share this full source code to you thank you so much for watching this video have a great day